Okay, today we're going to show you how to use a program called OzLogix Disk Defrag. It's a free program that you can download for a Windows PC, and the idea is that it will help you to optimize your SSD or your hard drive to work a little bit quicker. Now we've run the program, and you get this as a startup. It shows all the various hard drives that I have in my PC, and I can click on these to show which ones I want the program to analyze or defragment. I click on this option here and say analyze. Now this might take a little bit of time, depends on how large your hard drives are and also how fast they are. So let's analyze them. I have um, several hard drives and some of them are partitioned. Partition means that you take one hard drive and you split it into two, three or more parts. So for example you might have one part of your hard drive that has just windows on it, but then you might keep another section of the hard drive dedicated to things like emails or graphic programs or things like video and photos, that kind of thing. So from this map you can see green squares and red squares. The green squares are optimized, the red squares are not optimized. Now in a traditional hard drive you have a disk, it's a bit like a record player with a kind of a needle but this needle doesn't actually touch the disk, it just hovers and it reads and writes data to the disk. Now usually what happens is with a hard drive it becomes fragmented over time so different bits of data are placed all over the disk and for the computer to read and write that disk takes extra time if it's placed here there and everywhere so for example in this section of the hard drive you can see lots of green but then there's lots of red and there's gray squares the gray squares mean that that's empty space that hasn't been used yet so let's use this as an example so I'll just untick all the others just so you can work on that driver, driver N, and we can use the pull down menu to select different options. Uh, defrag will be the quicker, so we'll do that just for demonstrations. So again it's analyzing the disk, and it kind of decided that it was defragmented enough, so that was pretty quick. Let's choose the next option, defrag and optimize slower. So again it's analyzing, it's optimizing, let's see if it's going to do much. Probably not too much, but we'll see. Now if you keep an eye on the map with all the squares on it, you should see some of the um, squares moving about with this drive. It's a little bit difficult to see. Okay, but it's finished so it's kind of decided like that's about as much optimization as it needs. Now this program does allow you to optimize SSDs. Now there's a lot of debate from people on whether you know you need to optimize an SSD or it's kind of wearing that out. Well this has an algorithm that they say is good for optimizing SSDs. Um, it's up to you to decide whether you think there's going to be any speed advantage versus any particular problems with perhaps it degrading your SSD more quickly. But um, I think one thing to bear in mind is if there was no speed change in not optimizing your SSD, then why does this not take place instantly? So you should see a lot of the red squares turning green you see that 22% fragmented reduce. So one of the things this um, program was set to do was delete temporary files before it starts to defragment. That's a good idea. So that would delete things like temporary internet files that appear as you're browsing the internet. So you can actually see that this has deleted over 6,800 temporary files that would speed up the process of defragmenting your hard drive quite a bit. 
So this would actually take quite a while, so we can kind of stop it. But it gives you an idea of how you would go about defragmenting the hard drive. Now this program it has lots of different options. Um, it also does have this option here to optimize your SSD. Now right now it says it's not optimized. If we click this button, well let's see what happens. Some uh, things are changed on the right. It reckons my SSD has been sped up. I don't know how we're going to show that. But um, this gives you a general overview of the defragmentation program that I know.